Hey guys, thanks for coming to check out another crochet video with me. So let's get into it. So my braid pattern is always the same. There are six braids at the front and one braid on each side that goes up and then to the back. And then all the braids join and go straight down in the back. And I always have two braids that go across the nape of my neck. And then I always leave a very thin amount for leave out in the front and I have that braided down. The hair today that I'm using is the Bobby Boss Brazilian Pineapple Deep in 18 inch and I do have it in the color number four. So in terms of the Pineapple Deep, I did end up using three packs. Um, these are single packs, so I used three of those. And then in the front, I started mixing in the Bobby Boss Deep Curl in 20 inch, and that's a two time pack. So I'll show you guys once I start adding that in, but in the back, it's all the Pineapple Deep. Now, um, I did get this hair online. I can't remember exactly where I got it from right now, but I'm going to go through my receipts so that I can definitely tag um, a link where I got it online. In the back, I just put it in the way I always do. I never really split the hairs apart in the back because I like to keep the frizz down to a minimum. Um, that's what it looks like with one pack completed. Um, so I just use the whole piece that it comes with out of the pack in the back. And then in the front, I start to separate it and use the invisible knot technique. But in the back, I just use the regular knot technique. I knot it probably two times sometimes three times doubtful usually two times is enough for me and yeah I just install it regularly So if you guys are returning to my channel, you already know I'll take breaks. I take a long time installing my crochet. I do it over several days and yeah, I'll rock a headscarf until I finish my crochets. I ain't too proud to do it. Um, I also have been really super into skincare lately. So I have been using the Fenty. I have every single product that she makes and I love all of them and my skin loves it too. So I'm taking off my head wrap scarf. These are available on my website these scarves are the Andalusia stretch head wrap scarf you can wear it as a scarf or a head wrap um, it's great to wear at night or in the day and they do come in a ton of different colors I absolutely love these scarves so make sure you check them out on my website gleemade.com support a black woman owned business today sis okay <laughs> So here's where I started adding in the deep curl hair and I thought I added it in at the front but I guess I started adding it in at the back. Um, there was no real rhyme or reason to where I put the deep curl and where I put the pineapple. It kind of just went wherever I decided for it to go. Now the length of these two curls is slightly different but I always cut my crochet a lot so the length of the hair really doesn't matter because I you know do a lot of cutting and it all will blend um, after a while. Anyway stay tuned to the end you guys too have been waiting for a um, crochet cutting tutorial and that's definitely coming at the end so stay tuned for that
So just wanted to take a little time to show the difference between the deep curl and the pineapple curl. The pineapple curl is 18 inches and it is the curl that's on the left hand side and the deep curl is on the right, it's 20 inches. Both are in the color number four. That is my favorite color to install in my hair in terms of crochet and in terms of wigs. I just love a color number four. It's a really deep chocolate brown and I think it's so beautiful. So on the sides, I already do the um, regular knot technique. I don't do the invisible knot on the sides. It's only where you see those six really small braids at the top is where I'm concerned about doing the invisible knot technique because that's where you want to be able to part your hair and you want to be able to have the versatility in the different parts. So these six braids at the top give you the versatility of a middle part, a side part, and a deep side part. So you definitely want to make sure that you do the invisible knot technique there. And these alligator clips are available on my website on gleemate.com. They come in so handy when you're styling your hair, whether it's crochets, whether it's your own natural hair, whether it's braiding your hair, whatever it is you're doing, these alligator clips come in super duper handy. So you can definitely grab those on my site as well. Now this is the invisible knot technique. It's where you um, put the crochet needle through the braid. You pull one side of the braid through um, the knot and then you twist and then you pull it through again and, and let it go. So that creates that invisible knot. So you basically are only pulling one side through and you're also making sure that you put a knot to hold it in place. And this is where you start getting excited and feel impressed because yes, girl, you are almost done. I've been doing I have been doing this hair for like three days, so <laughs> I was definitely getting amped like we almost there. And here we go with all this hair up in our head, fully installed and looking like a full blown lion's mane. I am a Leo, my birthday is coming up July 27th. Shout out to the Leos. Um, but yeah, I love me a big old lion's mane, curly, bushy hair. Um, but yeah, you do wanna give it a nice little cut, give it a cute little tame, you know, get, get her situated. So stay tuned for the cut that's coming right up. I'm gonna do my best to describe what I'm doing in terms of cutting this hair. It's kind of hard for me to describe, but you have the visual aid of watching me and hopefully I can say a couple things to help. So I always start off by cutting the scraggly ends at the, at the bottom of the crochet. Well, I start by splitting the hair in half. There's no hair behind my neck. I bring all the hair to the front and I trim off the scraggly ends and try to, um, you know, just make sure nothing's scraggly at the bottom. I don't worry about making anything even right away because I like to work on one side and then um, I'll do the other side to match it. So I tend to start by trimming um, around at the top where my um, eye line, my eye, 
lash, eyebrow, eyelash is. I tend to cut a couple pieces pretty short at the front and then I start to work my way down, making sure that I'm not pulling the curls. I'll literally just fluff the curl and then start trimming the curl. You don't wanna pull the curl because it'll spring back and not be the length that you were expecting when you were cutting because you were pulling the curl and making it straight. And then when it bounces back from being straight, it's not where you thought it was. So you want to hold the curl in your hand you don't want to hold it so tight that you're elongating the curl if that makes sense then you're going to um, continue to fluff the hair and pull any um, pieces at the top that just seem dramatically long you don't want any pieces that are at the top to be dramatically long because it's going to drag the hairstyle down instead of allowing the hair to kind of float where it is it's going to make the hair like drag too long down if, if that makes sense i don't know how to describe this you guys um i'm probably doing a terrible job that's why I, i've kind of avoided doing a hair cutting tutorial because i don't know words for like i didn't go to hair school i don't know the words for all these things that i do i just know how i like it to look <laughs> so if you guys know the words for what i'm trying to explain please put it in the comments i would appreciate it um but yeah, I just continue to fluff and pull anything out. And I also make sure that the hair that's closest to my face is framing my face and that those hairs aren't super duper long. Okay. But you also want to be careful not to cut too much of your length because you can quickly turn an 18 or 20 inch hairstyle into a 12 inch. And that's not what you want to do. Like you want to have your length, but you want to have layers as well. And you want to frame your face. So you see the difference, like the one side is kind of like floating and playful and light and airy. And then the other side just feels like it's so dragged down and heavy and like it's just really dragged down. So when you cut the layers in, it just allows the hair to feel really light and, and bouncy and fluffy. Whereas when you leave it super duper long, all one length long, it just feels like it's dragging you down, if that makes sense um so yeah anyway you guys um keep watching i have some fun clips at the at the end because i um forgot to do an outro for this video like i didn't do my makeup and record an outro so i have some fun clips of me and my girlfriends out while i was wearing this hair so definitely stay tuned to the end and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel um it really helps me out. It helps me beat this crazy algorithm. Um, so yeah, please share the video as well. Um, I'm going to share it on my Facebook too. If you guys aren't following me on Facebook and Instagram, please do that. Everywhere on online is Jess Monique Thomas. So here I just wanted to show you guys like the versatility of the hair. Um, you can flip it all different sides and that's why I love this braid pattern. It's very, very versatile and you can wear your hair as a middle part, a left side part, right side part, or even a deep part. So that's what I love about this. I didn't lay my baby hairs or anything. Um, I typically do, but for some reason I didn't do it in this video. Like I said, I didn't record a good outro for this. So um, the outro is kind of just a couple clips of me out with my homegirls in DC. So yeah, you guys, um, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned to the end and make sure you subscribe and share. Who's that, baby, tell me who's that? Look back, baby, make you look back. Ah, move that. Where you move that, touch that, baby, me just wanna touch that. Enter me radar, now you they mash up the place, ah. Enter me radar, if you are what see me radar. The only special one for me, ah. Now you be the only one I see.